brisket smoked on the old country uh, petals. I like to keep these uh, aluminum foil pans handy because you can see. We're good, already 40 minutes, and uh, it's not gonna hurt them at all. And uh, remember, chicken thing. Then uh, let them rest for a little bit. And, uh, the winds have already hit the internal pan. Today we're going to be grilling some uh, shish kebabs or brochetas and uh, I spared you the uh, boredom of slicing up all these uh, veggies and meats but what I do want to show you is that I assembled, you want to assemble like a little mini station, assembly station just to make it easier on yourself and I cubed up some, uh, it's about two and a half pounds of a skirt steak and I'm going to season it with uh, some uh, regular seasoned salt. Then some lemon pepper. Get a quick toss. Add a little bit more seasoning. You want to coat all sides of the meat. All right, let me show you what I have here. Like I said, it's two and a half pounds of skirt steak. I have some smoked sausage, some bacon, some uh, regular white onion, and some bell pepper. You can definitely uh, substitute for chicken if you want, or shrimp, you can use whatever you want. Uh, but this video is just uh, basic fundamentals on how to assemble uh, some shish kebabs. Um, so you can see here, I already have some of my uh, bam bamboo skewers and you want to soak them in water 30 minutes prior to hitting the grill. So first thing you want to do guys is grab some meat. It's going to be your base. Okay. Let's see if you can see this. I'm sorry. Right there. Get some sausage. Some uh, bacon. Again, you can use whatever you want guys, whatever bacon. This is just thin store-bought bacon and uh, bell pepper. Some onion. And then you start all over again. You guys get the gist of it, right? So for the sake of time, I want to finish these off uh, camera and then I'll show you how they look all put together, right? So we will be back. All right, guys, well, there you have them. I was able to assemble nine kebabs with uh, two and a half pounds of skirt steak, uh, roughly about uh, an, a large onion and a half of another and four bell peppers and one packet of regular bacon. Um, let me see if I can get them a little bit closer so you can see. They smell really good. Um, so I'm going to let them uh, marinate inside of the fridge for a few minutes and uh, well for maybe for a couple of hours because I'm going to grill them up for dinner and uh, we'll be back in about a couple of hours and I'll show you how I grill them outside. Alright so uh, we're going to be 
cooking on the uh, Pickles Old Country smoker. It's a smoker, guys, but you can use it as a grill. And uh, the, what I do when I'm going to direct grill is I use that. Uh, you see this this plate? It's a quarter-inch plate uh, that I fabricated a few years ago. And uh, I've used it from grill to grill. That protects uh, the grills or the smokers from the bottom. And uh, it works very, very good. Uh, as you can see, I got some hot coals. I'm burning some Kingsford Blue today, and I've already added some mesquite chunks, so they're going to catch here pretty soon. So I'm just going to put the grate on. Mm -hmm. Let it get nice and hot. Start burning some of those contaminants that are on the grill. And uh, We'll be back guys, let's wait till the coals are nice and red hot and we'll start cooking. Be right back. All right guys, so I've cleaned off my my uh, grate and uh, look at those shish kebabs. We're gonna drop them on that grill, that hot grill. Yep, that's exactly what you want here. There you go. So let me uh, let them cook on one side, and I'll flip them over in a little bit. So be right back. All right, guys. Ten minutes into the cook. Let's check. That. Ouch! That was hot. Look at that. Man, they smell good. Let's check them out. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's what you want. You want to see that nice char on them. I definitely don't want to drop one of these bad boys. Man, they smell really good. Look at that. That shut the lid. Alright guys, 15 minutes later, I just uh, flipped them over and Look at that. Beautiful color, huh? Let's give them a few more minutes. Get some uh, nice color on them. And uh, then uh, let them rest for a little bit. And see what they look like once they're all done. They smell great. Alright guys, so these bad boys are done. I moved them over to the right uh, just to keep them warm because there's no direct fire as you can see. Uh, I'm just waiting on these uh, chicken quarters to be ready. Uh, but I'm going to take them inside and uh, take a better look at them. They smell fantastic guys. I know they're going to smell great. All right, be right back. So we let, we let the uh, shish kebab rest for a little while and uh, look at that. They smell great. Let's just plate them up real good. And there you have it, guys. Grilled shish kebabs with uh, skirt steak. Guys, these are very, very easy to make. Uh, I showed you at the beginning uh, how to build a little assembly line, and, uh, and you can build them pretty quick. Uh, so the best way to, that I like to enjoy these is put them over a bed of rice and uh, get some corn tortillas and some pico de gallo and you're all set. So guys, again, once again, thank you for watching my video. If uh, you have any questions, like always, drop them down below and uh, hit that thumbs up, guys. Thank you.